I don't think you're ready for this commander deck. Hi, I'm Warren with Cracker Jack Games. And if you'd like to see what you can do with powerful commander cards, like follow and share this video. Today we're talking about Rograk, Son of Roga, and Ikra Shadiki, the Usurper. This is a Jun CDH combo deck. And there's no shortage of cool things that this deck will do. And I hope it leads to you winning many, many commander games. So first up, we get some powerful, powerful mana dorks like Deathrite Shaman. I like to call him the Lilith Planeswalker. One mana, three abilities. We lost Oxide Extortionist, probably for the best, but we still have Culling Ritual, which in CDH knocks out a whole bunch of stuff and gives us so much mana to work with. We're playing Crop Rotation because we might want our Emergence Zone at some point. Or heck, we're in green, so we got Gaia's Cradle. Rograk's so powerful because it turns on so much free magic for us. We've got Deflecting Swat featuring the Electric Stegosaurus. We've got Deadly Rollick featuring Otrimi. This card's super playful. Newer addition to Rograk decks is Flare of Duplication. We might fire off our Ad Nauseum right into some counter magic, and we can use Flare of Duplication to copy the Ad Nauseum on top of that by sacrificing Rograk. So yeah, they'll get one copy of Ad Nauseum, but we're still gonna get our copy. How about Free Spell Mox Amber? This works on turn one. We're playing Carpet of Flowers, we're playing Wild Growth, and we're playing Utopia Sprawl. These all got so much better with the banning of Dockside Extortionists because they don't feed other pirate goblins. I mentioned them, but we are playing Emergent Zone to try and win on someone else's turn potentially. And of course we get Guy's Cradle to tap for tons and tons of mana. Now I did say combo deck, so let's talk about some of them. We've got Priest of Gix. This thing costs three mana, but gives you three mana back. But if we pair that with Chthonian Nightmare and Rograk, we can loop three mana, netting one, and using energy to flip the two cards in and out of the graveyard. Spending no mana, getting three mana, spending two mana, netting one mana. Did you get that? So now we have infinite black mana. We're also playing Underworld Breach. We've got Mox Opal and Mox Amber. So along with Grinding Station, we can just dig through our deck till we find cards that we need. And we're playing one of the cooler cards from last year, Hoarding Broodlord. This is one of the cards we need. We can use Broodlord to find Saw in half, and then Saw the Broodlord in half to find two more cards. And those two cards? Well, it's Dual Caster Maid and Twin Flame, of course. And now we have Infinite Hasty Tutus. And there is definitely nothing wrong with that. And it ends the game very consistently. So who's gonna like this kind of deck? Well, people who don't like blue, people who love combo decks, and people who love free spells. And you gotta remember, yeah, if you were just to go out and buy this deck from scratch, you're probably spending $6,500, $7,000. But CDH is proxy friendly. And when you find a group, one of their biggest mantras is gonna be, we wanna play against you and not your wallet. So maybe you're a competitive player looking to branch out into EDH, but you still want that competitive feeling. CDH is where it's at. And there's a little bit of everything for everyone in here. And you get to play cards that are banned in 60 card formats, like Deathrite Shaman and Underworld Breach. And Ad Nauseum's not banned, but it's been a hot minute since this was a playable card in Modern, that's for sure. So take those Hoarding Broodlords out of your bulk bin, sleeve them up and win some games with them. Hope this helps.